The term zero has a rich and intricate history that spans multiple civilizations and languages. While no single individual can be credited with inventing the name zero, its evolution is a testament to the collaborative advancement of mathematical concepts across different cultures. Below is a detailed exploration of the origins and linguistic journey of the term zero. Early concepts of zero. A. Ancient civilizations. Babylonians, c. 3rd century BCE, used a placeholder symbol in their sexagesimal base 60 numeral system to indicate the absence of a value in a particular position. However, this was not a true zero as a number. Maya civilization, c. 4th century CE, uh, developed an advanced vigesimal base 20 system that included a symbol for zero, used primarily as a placeholder in their calendar calculations. B. Indian mathematics. Sanskrit term shun, meaning empty, void, or nothing. Significance. Indian mathematicians, such as Brahmagupta, 7th century CE, formalized the concept of zero both as a placeholder and as an independent number with its, its own properties. Brahmagupta's contributions. In his seminal work, Brahmasfuta Siddhanta, 628 CE, he provided rules for arithmetic operations involving zero and negative numbers, laying the groundwork for modern algebra. Linguistic evolution of the term zero. A, from Sanskrit to Arabic, Sanskrit shunya, shunya. The concept of zero as shunya was pivotal in Indian mathematics. Translation into Arabic, sifr, meaning empty or nothing. Usage, Arabic mathematicians adopted the term sifr to represent zero in their numeral system. Notable figure, Al-Khwarizmi, see 9th century CE, a Persian mathematician, played a significant role in transmitting Indian mathematical knowledge, including the concept of zero to the Islamic world through his works. From Arabic to Latin and European languages. Arabic, cipher. Translation into Latin, zephyrum, or cipherum. Latin, zephyrum. Evolution. The Latin term evolved as it was adopted into various European languages. Italian, zero. Final transformation. The term Zephyrum was shortened and adapted into Italian as zero. Adoption in European languages. From Italian, the term zero was incorporated into other European languages, including English, solidifying its place in the global numeral system. Four key points to remember. Collective development. The concept and terminology of zero developed collectively across different civilizations, each contributing uniquely to its understanding and dissemination. Cultural transmission. The spread of zero from India to the Islamic world and then to Europe underscores the importance of cultural and scholarly exchanges in the advancement of mathematical knowledge. No single inventor. Given its gradual evolution through multiple languages and cultures, zero does not have a single inventor for its name. Instead, its nomenclature is the result of linguistic transformations over centuries. Five, significance of zero. Mathematical impact. Zero is fundamental in the place value numeral system, enabling the representation of large numbers and the execution of complex arithmetic operations. Scientific advancement. The inclusion of zero paved the way for advancements in algebra, calculus, and computer science, among other fields. Philosophical implications. Beyond mathematics, zero has philosophical significance in representing the concept of nothingness and the void. Next. It traverse conclusion. The name zero embodies a journey of intellectual collaboration and linguistic evolution spanning continents and centuries. Originating from the Sanskrit term shunya, meaning empty, it traversed through Arabic as cipher, Latin as zephyrum, and finally into Italian as zero, before becoming a staple in modern languages worldwide. This evolution highlights the interconnectedness of human knowledge and the cumulative nature of scientific progress. Music